Good evening. Today we are on Bolo Lane in Acton. We're going for a little walk from Acton Town to South Acton because we can't take the tube anymore. Until 1959, though, you could. This was the route of the South Acton Shuttle, a branch of the District Line. It was the shortest branch of the District Line at about half a mile, and consisted only of those two stations. In fact, the line was so short that drivers working on the service nicknamed it the Tea Run, because you could put the kettle on, take the train out and bring it back before the water had boiled. As you might imagine, demand was pretty limited. So much so that the branch had its own special trains that consisted of a single carriage, and even that was generous for the number of passengers. You can still see the old platform at Acton Town, and note how short it is. The service seems fairly illogical. Anyone coming from central London would surely just go straight to Gunnersbury. Anyone at stations west of Acton would still have to change trains, and the distance between the two stations was hardly onerous on foot. So why was it built? Well, paradoxically, the answer is money. The line was built by the District Railway in 1899, mostly for the convenience of other companies. The district was always a very poor company, but what they did have was some very useful routes, so they could make money from letting other companies use those routes, and that was the idea here. The Midland and London and North Western Railways had the right to run goods trains over the line, and in fact it was six years between the line opening and the district actually starting to run their own trains. Sadly, though, the goods traffic was never particularly heavy, so it perhaps wasn't the money spinner the district had been hoping for. Locally, the service was known as the Ginny. The nickname Ginny actually originated with a different local service, the line from South Acton to Hammersmith and Chiswick, which closed in 1917. The steam train along that line, which was also a single carriage, was known as a Ginny or Jenny, as in the female donkey, not the girl's name. The nickname seems to have transferred over to the district after the Hammersmith and Chiswick line closed. Transport historian J. E. Connor says the service was also known as the Pony, which I've not seen referenced anywhere else, but I would guess it indicates that the electric train was seen as being faster than the old steam train. Despite local affection, the line could never really justify its existence, and so it closed officially on the 28th of February 1959. The line was completely demolished, including South Acton Tube Station and the embankment that carried the line. The bridge over Bolo Lane actually demolished itself, collapsing into the road during the dismantling process. These days, there's very little to indicate that the line was even there. You can see the end of the bridge over Bolo Lane, and of course there's the remains of the platform at Acton, which was hidden behind advertising hoardings until recently. But the rest has all been built on. Here we are at South Acton. It's perhaps a sign of how redundant the district branch was that Acton Town is signposted for pedestrians. So that's the tale of the district line's shortest branch. Maybe there wasn't a lot of point to it, but it was a quirky, unique line, and for that it deserves to be remembered. As for me, I'm getting a train one stop down the line to catch the district again. Hello all. Hope you enjoyed today's little used episode of Tales from the Tube. If you did, please leave a like. It's really helpful. But I'd like to know your opinions on the line. Was the branch a white elephant or could it be useful today? Did you ever travel on it? Would you like to? Let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time for another Tale from the Tube.